Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name's Elaine of the owner of What LBE. I hope you guys had a happy, good time shopping at Family Dollar. Um, I am grateful for everything that I got. Um, if you have not hit your Family Dollars, hey, still go because, like me, I left several things behind. Um, there was a lot of things that I did not leave behind and I cleared the shelf, but <laughs> I left several things behind. So if you're still looking for like baskets or anything like that, um, feel free to go check out Family Dollar. Um, I did not get any of the pictures, the mirrors, none of that. So um, if you are in my area, feel free to go have at it, okay? Um, so anyway, I wanna come on here and show you guys all these concepts I've been working on. I'm going to kind of turn my camera this way so y'all can kind of see that your girl got a whole bunch of stuff going on at this table. Um, so the first concept I got, um, I'm using these uh, tobacco baskets. Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't uh, secure this down. I'm using these tobacco baskets and normally I would lay the stuff down. Um, but because I am trying to um, give a little more, add a little more income to it. Uh, <laughs> I, I just that uh, just the ride I'm deciding to take this year um so I'm trying to come up with like just different style gifts and things like that so I pulled out the um uh Juneteenth cups this is one of the cups that Dollar Tree has for sale if you can find Juneteenth items in your stores um I definitely picked these up because that is a cool color to work with so this is going to be going in this concept um and like I said I'm using the tobacco baskets or whatever you want to call it um, these are ones I got from Dollar Journal for a penny um, and I'm just I'm not putting any shred in it until I get it inside of the bag and then once it's inside the bag that's when I'll add the shred and go by my business okay uh, even with adding the shred I am balling it up so it's not like real f loose you know what I'm saying and so they when they take it out it's, it's gonna flop everywhere nah it's not gonna happen uh, now a little bit it might come out but not a whole bunch okay um, also in this concept I'm using because I'm going off the color scheme in the cup I'm using the armor hammer um, I'm using some fresh scent and some cool waters um, and then of course for y'all who saw my haul when I got this uh, body wash I was able to get the uh, hand and body wipes um, in the same scent so I got some cool water um, hand wipes hand and body wipes um, adding a loofah these are the loofahs I told you I picked up from Walmart for a dollar um, and then I'm also adding in some of the Vaseline lotion and these are the ones I told you I got from Ollie's okay so in this concept I'm basically just putting all my tall items somewhat tall items in the back as y'all can see and then I just basically set my loofah there and set my wipes there um, and then I attached uh, these by using the glue dot and once I put it in the bag that's when I added some white shred to fill in all the little spaces where it's empty and make it look like a basket and this is the finished complete product um, and the bags that I used were my 16 by 24s and baby it fit like a glove okay the girl didn't have to work hard at all just tape down the ends and close it up that's what I did um, and I used some of that satin ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby and my um, royal blue like burlap style ribbon that I got from Sam's uh not this year last year um and I just put them two colors together to just bring this basket out and make it pop um this is what the back looks like you got the cup the bike the back of the body wash yeah I could have turned the lotion around and all that good stuff but no everything's gonna be face to front because you can still see the Vaseline on the lotion when you're holding up the basket so this is the concept I came up with. This just elevates it a little bit more so I can get a little bit more income off of it. Um, I only have a few that's going to be like $15, $20. <laughs> These are going to be more like $30, $35, maybe $40. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got some weight to it. It's a nice little style basket. You know, elevated with the bow. Come on now. Come on through coins. Okay. <laughs> um, the next concept I want to show you. Um, using the same ba uh, baskets I'm using in this concept I am using um, my grooming bags that I picked up from um, <clears throat> what's that place Amazon <laughs> my grooming bags I picked up from Amazon is what I'm using in the back this is my backer 
um, and I'm just setting that right there. It fits like a glove inside a tobacco basket. Um, and then I'm using, I've already taped these together, so I'm going to have to like hold it up. I'm using this 3-in-1 Detox Hair and Body Cleanser, which is basically body wash. And uh, this exfoliating face scrub. I picked these up from um, Pop Shelf. 90% uh, off, so that was 50 cents a piece. And then I uh, taped them to a pack of the uh, eco-friendly uh, charcoal um, uh, floss picks because I like the cold vibe of this color scheme flowing together and I placed basically placed that in front of the um, grooming bag and then I just took another one of my loofahs that I got from Walmart for a dollar slap that in the front and this is the complete concept with this one Again, I didn't add the shred. I added some brown shred to this one. Uh, and I didn't add the shred until I got it into my 16 by 24 bag. I'm going to repeat the size bag because I know it's going to be somebody in the comments. What size bag did you use? 16 by 24. <laughs> so, got that. That simple concept. Uh, closed it up and this is what that looked like. Simple, easy to the point. The grooming bag's in the back. Added the body wash, uh, um, the face scrub, and the um, loofah in the front. Uh, got the picks in the middle. And then as you can see, my little brown shred, I just added into the corner. Tiny, just to give it a little extra, fill in a little space, okay? And as you can see, it's really not coming out of the little holes um, because I balled it up first and then I set it in there. So that's that concept. Um, and again, I used the penny. Um the tobacco basses that I got for a penny. I used the uh, 90% off pop shelf body wash and facial cleanser. Um, I used the the eco-friendly charcoal picks that came from Dollar Tree. The um, grooming bag came from Amazon in bulk. And the loofah came from Walmart. All right, That's that concept. The next one is I pulled out those penny grooming bags that I got from Dollar General. Um, basically added in one of the ear and nose trimmers, another pack of those eco-friendly toothpicks, added in one of those massagers from Walgreens, a bottle of Axe Body Wash, and a loofah, and I put it in the bag, and this is the bag, and I have a piece of fish line going down the middle because it just it keeps it, you know, together so nothing falls apart. Um, and then I did these in three different accents. I got the pop, the Excite in one, the Apollo in the other, and the Dark Temptation. Um, so they're all going to have different types of ribbon. Um, and this is the Apollo one that I put in the army green uh, um, uh, grooming bag that I got from a Dollar Journal for a penny. And this is this concept. Simple, easy concept. Makes a major impact. The bows makes it stand out even more. So that makes it more profit that I can get off of it. Um, all of these will be in the range of like 35, 40 bucks probably like $35 um, instead of selling a whole lot for like um, 15 20 bucks um, I may have like some cup gifts or something like that that I'll do at the last minute um, or like some bags that I'll stuff at the last minute honey for like 15 bucks if people just really need that but I'm gonna try to stay in 30 plus if I possibly can on majority of my gifts um, but this would most definitely be like $35 um, and I just like how it came out so that's how we gonna float so I got three of those because I only found three of those grooming bags. Um, I have five of these, which is the um, Pop Shelf Body Wash and Facial Cleanser. Um, I have four of the Armor Hammers. I'm doing them in like four, three, four, five, depending on what I have. Um, if I had more gro those grooming bags from Dollar General, I would have did more. But um, mainly like trying to do four or five of each gift. Um, just to go ahead and complete these concepts and as you can see nothing in here says happy father's day because i just want these to continue to flow whatever doesn't sell and just keep going um and they're ready for christmas and things like that all i have to do is um set them out there basically so those are all the concepts in the small ones all right so here's the big boy um i basically took the blanket um that i got from Family Dollar. Um, I got all of these. I believe they're either two fifty or five dollars. I want to say it was five dollars. Um, but I got the blankets from Family Dollar. I got the relaxed neck pillow from Family Dollar. The football came from Five and Below. 
um i added in this little black box some of those inexpensive boxes that i ordered off amazon for um uh different gifts um i added in one of these i put one of my amazon grooming bags in the back um and then i have my uh dove care um bar soap body wash and uh deodorant in the front um the reason why i put this box in here is because there was a lot of space and i was gonna have to find something else to kind of uh, fill in the rest of this basket so i said you know what mm -mm. we're gonna put this in a box make it look bigger and we're gonna go ahead and be done with this concept okay um so that actually worked out really really well in my favor so as you can see it filled in all of that space um and i'm gonna try to turn it sideways so you can kind of see you see how big of a gap this made um and i did not want to add anything else to this because this basket is already going to be up in the hundreds um so with that said this is the concept with my tennessee titans i have to go ahead and do one more of these um i have one more football left and i only have two neck pillows so it actually works in my favor to do two of these and <laughs> be done we're gonna see how they flow i have some more blankets but i can probably put together something else um tennessee titan uh if these sell out and i need to do something else with uh the other blankets i have but for the time being this is the gift concept with this one um and i basically just took the little tag off the blankets and stuck it to the front of the of the bucket um just so they know that's a blanket and not like a robe or something like that um but i think it turned out really really well so again i'm gonna go ahead and do a second one of these get this wrapped up get it downstairs boom bam thank you ma'am i'm gonna go ahead and finish up wrapping up these small ones get them out of here boom bam thank you ma'am and then we gonna keep on flowing um i still have like five old spice body wash um and sets that i need to put together um i still have you know quite a bit of things that i need to um utilize um and get in some baskets and some concepts um i don't have a specific number i think somebody asked me that on my live i don't have a specific number I just, i'm just gonna make because at this point um i just want to be extremely prepared or somewhat prepared at least 80 percent prepared for these festivals um and just for christmas all together and any other occasion that may come about um i just got an order for five gifts for a um uh women's ministry they have five guest speakers they having like this little like revival or whatever type of thing um this weekend and guess what i used <laughs> five mother's day gifts okay this is the reason why i say don't stress about selling out because when you get yourself to the point where people know what you do and that is on you to make sure that happens get yourself out there talk to people talk to your church members your classmates all the above let them know what you do because you never know that's the reason why i don't stress out about not selling out because i have gifts available for anybody that needs to get something and then i have to do some graduation gifts for my church they ordered uh 15 I think 15 graduation gifts um for the graduates um and they're going to honor them at church on sunday so i got to have them ready to go for sunday listen <laughs> it does not matter if you don't sell out and i do not break any baskets down especially if they are made for every type of occasion they're not getting broken down it is not going to happen because i want them ready to go okay um so find a spot find a place if you find yourself again overwhelmed with a whole bunch of inventory get to making some baskets with them that's the only way you're gonna get rid of inventory right is you sell it right so make the baskets <laughs> don't stop just because the holidays are over make them baskets post them you ain't got to put it in cellophane but at least make them and and clear one shelf off with inventory make the baskets put the baskets on that shelf but get all your photos done before you put it on the shelf start sending it out to people family members friends facebook instagram whatever you got get to posting it telling people it's for sale give them the price everything is included and see if you can you can tweak them and if you don't sell it within a certain amount of time guess what you ain't put it in no plastic so you can easily what take it apart and remake something else and advertise that but either way you got to get the inventory sold y'all complaining about having too much inventory make the baskets <laughs> stop skipping holidays <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna quit preaching to y'all i just want to keep uh, keep motivating y'all to keep going because you do not advance if you stop how can you move 
if you stop. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next video. Peace.